Multimeters are probably the most basic and common instrument you have on your workbench. And normally you may even have more than one, but there's always the one that lives in your heart. Well, in this video, I will try to show that your beloved multimeter may be deceiving you badly. I have here an ordinary PCB and two top brand multimeters, an Edgeland 34405A and a Fluke 875. And I'm gonna use them for this test. The PCB has a 44 pin TQFP footprint on it. And imagine there's a microcontroller soldered to the board. In the case, uh, a peak 24HJ. And the circuit has a problem you are trying to fix. This is a common situation. An exist existing board you are trying to fix or the first assembled board of your project that just is not doing what it's supposed to do. And the first thing you do is to check the continuity of the tracks and possible short circuits between pins and ground. And here comes the question. Can your nice multimeter safely do this simple task? For doing that, we normally use the functions continuity or resistance and the first thing we're gonna do is to measure the open circuit circuit voltage of the multimeters when we set those functions first of all I will set the function continuity on the Agilent and measure the open circuit voltage with the fluke. Four point two volts. Now I will connect uh, ten kilo ohm load that happens to be nine point eight kilo ohm and measure again so the loaded circuit voltage is 3.4 volts change the function to resistance and notice that in this case the open circuit voltage will change when you change the range of measurement the highest voltage being being when you switch to the lowest resistance range so let's change the range here 100 ohms and measure the open circuit voltage Four point two volts again, and let's load the circuit. Now we have three point four volts. The same. Now I will invert the measurement. I will set the Agilent to DC volts and the flute to continuity and let's measure again seven point three volts and with the load Four point seventy eight. Uh, four point four point eight. Now 
let's change the fluke to the resistance function and change the range to ohms and let's measure the open voltage again seven point thirty five seven point three and now with the load four point point eight so we can conclude here that the open circuit voltage and the loaded voltage in both cases the Argilent and Fluke are the same and here is the summary of what I just did solving this simple equation we can say that the internal resistances of the multimeters are respectively 2300 ohms for the Argilent and 5100 ohms for the fluke now back to our printed circuit board this other experiment is very simple I uh, touch this track here with the multimeter probe this one and measure the voltage rise with the scope using a 10 times probe 10 mega ohm in parallel with 15 pf the input impedance of microcontrollers digital inputs is very high and the capacitance of the probe will hopefully emulate the parasitic capacitance we normally have in this kind of layout well let me first analyze the continuity function of the Agilent let's see the scope you adjust the lines so the difference between lines is about 4.1 volts but in the long term we have basically the same now the fluke Just again the lines we have here six point one volts, and in the long term, oh. Six point five volts as expected. Now let's check the peak twenty four HJ specifications for maximum voltage. Remember that the Agilent open circuit voltage is four point two volts and the fluke is seven point three volts. We can see here voltage on VDD with respect to VSS. 4 volts 
maximum. Notice that these are absolute maximum ratings. And voltage on any pin that is not 5 volts tolerant with respect to VSS, it's 4.3 volts. So the Agilent is in the limit and the fluke is well above the limit. Well, the fluke multimeter is a long time in the market and the Agilent 34405A was discontinued. But what about the new entry-level multimeters in the market? Let's first check the Kisai 34450A. Notice that this is a 5.5 digit multimeter. Let's see the specification. Here we go. Here, resistance, open circuit voltage, limited to 2.8 volts. Now, let's check the Siglint and Rigo, or Rigo if you wish. This is the Siglint SDM 4065A. It's a six and a half digit multimeter. And let's see the specs. Resistance, open circuit voltage limited to 10 volts. Well, it is what it is. Now the signal. This is the DM36. 68, six and a half digit multimeter. And let's see what you have here. Open circuit voltage limited to 10 volts. Well, well, Siglin and Rigo would probably nuke my poor microcontroller. And by the way, it's kind of a disappointment. Okay, now please tell me about your multimeter. That's all I had. Thanks for watching and have a fantastic new year.